This is the Anvil Terrapin, and we're going to talk about it for a little bit. It's technically slated as a defensive military ship, although its base shields are roughly half that of the Freelancer, uh, and its weapons feature only two distortion repeaters in front. Uh, I'm under the impression that distortion weapons don't do hull damage. They only do damage to shields and are incredibly effective when you use them in addition to conventional weapons. But this one doesn't have those. It's kind of confusing to get in on the side because the door looks identical to the rest of the ship. Although right now it's black. But once you find it, it is a pretty attractive ramp. The interior is modest and feature only two. There's the support station and the pilot. There is also a toilet that you can sit on. So I guess technically a crew of three. Ooh, cockpit's attractive. It's got a good glass to strut ratio. I like these two screens down here. Although I wish you could see them when you were looking up there. Alright, let's lift off. Ooh, better leaning gear than the Valkyrie, hell yeah. A sturdy little boy. Not very fast at all. <laughs> Where's my clothes exterior? Don't exit. There's lots of screens. These two little tiny screens are hilarious. These ones in the corners. Distortion weapons, aka blue lasers. If I'm being honest, there is not that much to say about the Anvil Terrapin. It's a confusing ship because it's originally built as a defensive ship. That is for retreating or pulling people off or drawing focus, and it has shifted now to an intelligence-based ship, uh, which makes the 20k shields actually really beefy, uh, because it's the size of a lot of the fighters, but with a thicker hull and twice as many of the shields. For reference, the Hurricane is about 10k. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, but you can't do damage to things because you only have the distortion weapons. The support seat right now doesn't seem to do anything, although in the future I believe it will be responsible for the advanced scanner feature, which will allow you to see enemies from further away. Enemies, structures, sentries, all of those kinds of things. Um, I, I believe that the advanced scanner will detect those and be able to relay that information to other people, which means the Terrapin can sneak around, take some hits, gather information, and then retreat. Personally, I think that's a really awesome strategy and implementation for a ship, but since it doesn't work right now, I don't really want to rag on the ship too hard because it's just something that we're all going to see in the future. So for now, if you want to pick up the Terrapin in the hopes that it does something for you, or if you just like flying around and squeezing some boxes in it or sitting on a toilet, the Terrapin is a good time. It's not that fast, it's not that nimble, but it's not exactly like driving a tank. Rumor has it right now as the scanners are, you can find uh, minerals on surfaces for FPS mining. 
Um, I didn't try this because FPS mining bores the crap out of me. Uh, I hate every second of it. Uh, but if you want to, go right ahead. For now, I'll just end with uh, that the Terrapin is a really good idea, and it's a pretty good looking ship, and I can't wait for what it can do in the future.